Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Ease 1 and 2 Chronicles. Last time, I made my way up to level 5. It really didn't take all that long. I pretty much just went right on over to this... There's, a, like, a bridge over here. I'll show you exactly what I did. It was really easy. It took, I don't know, 5 to 10 minutes to actually level up this much. Yeah, I went on this bridge, and I literally ran back and forth, and every single time that a monster spawned, I would kill them. That was it. That's all I did. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. Just going back and forth, not really moving from that back and forth trajectory, because the monsters will kind of come to you. I figured that was the easiest way to do it. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Okay. So, also last time, we got the key to this shrine right here. So, let's head on inside. Yeah, you just take the golden statue. Hmm. Well, let's see. Oh, look, it's a treasure! But it's locked. Well, that sucks. I don't want it to be locked. Ooh, is this one locked too? No, it's not! Hey, awesome. Now we got the ruby. And since I did all that grinding up, I have plenty of gold. So it's time to head back to Minia and uh, buy some new equipment. Well, here we are. Let's head on over towards uh, Pim's place, because we have a couple of things that we want to sell. And selling works just like buying. Basically, there's only a couple things that he actually wants to buy for you, like the ruby and the golden base. But, um, he's going to give me 1,200 gold for it, but I don't want that price. I want to keep on doing this over and over and over again, nine times, and then you're going to get a 10%, I don't know, upcharge on whatever you sell. So, yeah, it's kind of similar to buying, but you have to do it for selling as well. It's really rather annoying. Like, you would think that, um, you know, once you do it for buying, that it would also work for selling, but I guess it doesn't really work all that way. Are we done yet? Come on now. Oh, hey! Awesome! Got it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, very good, very good, very good. And then we've, once we've done that, I also want to sell the golden vase. Yeah. Oh. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and it automatically gets the extra, um, the extra gold for selling this, because normally it would just be the 2,000 gold. So yeah, perfect. Uh, now I am done with you. Let's get out of here. So now the next place that I want to go to is, let's see, where's the clinic? There it is. Perfect. And they sell some medicine here. I do want to go ahead and pick that up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to be inside that shrine, and uh, we might need the medicine. Probably not, but better safe than sorry. So let's see, now let's head on down to the uh, weapon and armor shop down here. Hey there. Uh, yeah. Again, he doesn't sell the Talwar, so that sucks. Let's go ahead and buy the long sword. It's the best sword that we can go ahead and purchase right now. And then let's look at what his uh, selection of armor is. Hey there. Um, yeah. We already have the chain mail. I'll just go ahead and upgrade to the plate mail. I can't afford the reflex, but if I buy the reflex, I can't afford the next shield. So we'll go ahead and buy the plate mail. There we are. Thank you. And the middle shield. Perfect. Oh, and I have 2,000 gold left over. Nice. Because I am going to need every little last piece of gold that I can get because I am going to want the reflex armor pretty soon. But let's go ahead and do our upgrade. And now that I've gotten all that stuff out of the way, I'm going to head back to the shrine. Okay, we're back inside the shrine. So, yeah, let's just uh, head on and start exploring. See what there is to see in this place. It's a whole bunch of rooms linked together. It almost reminds me of the Earth Cave from Final Fantasy 1. Actually, a lot of dungeons in Final Fantasy 1 were like that. Oh, a locked door. Whatever could be behind this? Whoa! Whoa, holy crap! It's boss time! So as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it has the life bar of the enemy right there. And then all these little flames right there, they come out and they will hit you for five damage. So keep that in mind. Um, the guy, he just kind of appears and disappears. He doesn't really do anything and you're completely safe as long as you stand still. But I don't want to stand still. I'm a great hero. I want to kill this guy dead. 
So basically, yeah, just ram into him over and over and over again. Don't really even worry about your HP. As long as you're at level 5, you'll be fine. Yeah, I got 50 damage, but who really cares? Especially because you get healed up right afterwards. But hey, awesome. Okay, so now let's head on inside the depths of the shrine. Yeah, we get some awesome music in here. I approve. But these enemies in here can be pretty difficult. I just got hit, and I'm standing still, but I'm not recovering my HP because, yeah, we, we are inside. Whenever you are inside, then um, you can't recover HP. It kind of sucks. Oh, it does not appear empty. Huh. Huh. I wonder who's inside these cells. Hmm. We'll have to, uh, look into that. Ooh. Get over here. What do we have? Oh, no! A locked treasure! Yikes! Huh, so we have some locked treasure over here. Well, more locked treasure. And we have some cells that are not empty. I wonder what they're full of. Maybe those ghouls that the Tapest folk were telling us about? That's kind of creepy. I really don't want to unlock those, uh, cells just to have, like, some zombies attack me or something. That'd be really bad. Oh, yeah, lots of dead ends around here. This place is pretty mazy. It's not too terrible, though. This guy right here, he's kind of strong, the looter. Oh, hey, awesome, we got the prison key. So, yeah, looks like uh, we can go and uh, check out those cells. But I see some more treasure over there in the uh, upper right-hand corner, so I definitely want to go after that as well. Um, this is a dead end, so let's just keep on moving and grooving right along. Yikes! Kill that guy. And I think this is where I want to go. Pretty sure. Let's see. Or I could be completely wrong in going in a dead end. Yeah. Okay, so here's another treasure, but I think that this one's locked. Yeah. So we've got to do something about all these uh, locked treasures. Man, it's like never ending with these freaking locked chests. Craziness. Okay, let's see. Oh. Wow. Yeah, like I said, this place is mazy, and I'm going in the wrong way over and over and over again. I really don't want that. Oh, hey, there we are. Awesome! Okay, very good. Now we got the treasure box key, so now we can finally open up all these locked chests that we keep on seeing. Like this one right here. Ooh! It's a silver bell. That was the treasure of Zippic Village. So I guess the thieves were actually telling the truth, and they didn't steal the silver bell. Somebody else stole it and then stuck it down here inside this shrine. I don't know why they would do that, but... Eh. I, I guess I'm not really into psychoanalyzing ghouls and fiends and the like, you know? I don't know. Well, we got a prison key, so let's go ahead and open up these cells. Anybody in here? Oh, no, just a monster! Oh, but there's a girl over there. Huh. How odd. Well, before getting the girl, let's go on down here and uh, check out that treasure chest. Awesome, got a necklace. That's pretty much good for selling. That will really help me get my reflex armor that I want to grab. Let's kill you first. Get over here. Urgh. Hey there, lady. Oh. you? Why are you down here? Who's your captor? Oh. You would think that you would have died of starvation and dehydration by now. Oh, a man in a black cape who put you in here. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, if you say so, I'll leave. Oh. You're incidental? Yeah. And it wasn't you. You just kind of happened to be here. Oh, really? You don't say. Invisible secrets. Oh. Ooh. 
But hey, and we get the Mask of the Eyes. Wow, we're getting tons of treasure today. Oh. Okay, well, thanks. Yeah, bye, girl, bye. Now, let's head on over here. Oh, I'll be fine, but what happened to you? Let's go ahead and rescue her, of course. Yeah. Oh, no problem. Besides, if I don't rescue you, I can't go ahead and loot this treasure chest. Which is empty. That's lovely. But as you can see, Fina actually has stats herself. You do not want her to die. If she dies, it's game over. Do not let her die. So just be very careful about escorting her uh, back up top. Yeah, this is our lovely escort mission. We got... No! No, get over here! Oh my god. Oh, man. Oh. oh my god, she has 3 HP. Yeah. Um, this is why you need to be careful, and I... My, my, I don't know what it is about, like, every time that I, like, try to be careful, I somehow screw it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best. But one cool thing now, now that we, um, are up top and the boss is gone, if we stand still, we can regenerate our HP. Fina can too, so yeah, definitely get her back up to maximum HP if she took any hits. Oh my god, that was like stressful. Also, if you leave her alone, she'll get lost, and then you'll have to go back and find her, and then um, continue on your way. It's not like she like goes back to the prison cell. She pretty much just stands wherever she was lost at, so in one of these random rooms, she'll just be hanging out. Okay, so you can chill in here while I go over here and grab some treasure. Okay, great, we got the shield ring, our first ring of the game. Uh, let's go ahead and equip that real quick. So yeah, it reduces all damage received by half. It is one of the best items in the game. Okay, let's continue on our way. Hopefully you come with me. Hey, you did kill you because yeah she's not out of the woods yet we still have to uh, protect her from these little thieving guys the unaguns but we're almost to the town come on Fina you can do it there we go looks like there's not any uh, enemies or anything so come on come on inside with me sweet oh hey are you all right You don't look all right. You're just tired. Um, okay. Whoa! Oh, man. She's not all right at all. Oh, she has a fever. Oh, okay. Yeah. As we all know in JRPGs, if you have the slightest cough or fever, you're pretty much dead. So hopefully she'll be fine. Okay. say so. Let's go talk to her. Have anything to say? Oh, well that's good. Yeah, the fever is subsiding. Everything seems fine. Well, we got the silver bell back, so let's go talk to the mayor. Give it back to him. No, we didn't get it from the thieves. They were actually honest with us. Yeah. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Who took it? Who put it there? Okay. Ooh. Sweet! Yeah, now we get the power ring. Another amazing ring. <clears throat> Just like the shield ring halves your damage given, this one doubles your damage output, so it's very, very nice. Um, for right now, though, 
the enemies around here are so weak, I'm just gonna equip the shield ring, cause, eh, might as well. So, now let's see what else we got going on here. Has this girl's husband come back yet? No, he's still gone. Oh no. Well, where could he be? Can we find him and rescue him? Find out next time and let's play Ease Chronicles. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.